I would like to see the ERC or World Rugby actually uh, make a point that this isn't actually acceptable. This is way off where we want to go. And um, unfortunately, and I know this from playing playing against French teams and uh, and uh, coaching down there, that they don't see the gouge as negatively as we do and see it as a cowardly act. You know, the fourchette it's called. Um, mm. And, you know, there's always this, this kind of... Uh, machoism around you know, when they come to our place you know we'll give them the four sets and you know and, and we'll get stuck into them and they won't want to know about it and um, and I actually really believed and hoped that it was gone it was gone it was, it was something from the dark ages um, and I as much as I hated seeing the incident I thought okay well this is another opportunity to to really show strong leadership and show that we don't want that to be part of a game and that ban and, and that whether it's 20 weeks or whatever uh, or longer you know that goes around um, the the world media and people go people read that and the kids who read and see you know we're not going to tolerate it and then then they just go and give a, a six week ban which is completely ridiculous mm. EB0 have the right to appeal it well, I hope, yeah, I hope I they're sure if they did or not but yeah I it's think, a great point yeah, they should I think, appeal it I think they should appeal it yeah and, and we obviously clubs and players appealing bans because of um, they feel it's too severe well this is a case where the governing body um, need to go hang on you know that that signing committee didn't actually um, fulfil their role, which is protect player safety in a strong enough way and readdress. And even if it doesn't get changed uh, and it stays at six weeks for whatever reasons, at least they're showing that yeah. they don't agree with it. 